Yeah, come closer. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right, how y'all doing tonight? This is, uh, my name is Richard Stewart. I'm going to be pulling the nozzle out of this engine. I'm going to pull it apart, inspect it. I'm going to name a few parts and I'm going to put it back together. And I'm going to reinstall it. First off, what you want to do is you want to grab your wrenches and your sockets. This is a 13 millimeter. Take 13 millimeter, take your bolts off, already prepping ahead of time. Take your valve cover off. I'm going to place it on the table behind me. Alright, now I got my valve cover on. I'm going to take my Allen wrench, my 5 base Allen. There's a cap. Come on up here. Show me this cap. There's a cap. You'll put your, put your Allen wrench in the cap. Pull your cap off. Pull your cap off. You take your fuel line on the back side right here. Undo it down there. Undo it up here. It'll take your 13 mil your 30 13 millimeter uh, valve cover bolt, place it inside your nozzle. And then just pull up. I got it up. I take it out now. We're gonna come on this side over here. Let me grab my tie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright now, from here, we're gonna grab our wrenches. Grab my 19 millimeter. Now I'm going to go over here to the vice. I just lock it up there tight enough to hold it. With my 19 millimeter, break it loose. Now that I got it loose, Come back around over here and we're gonna start inspecting. I'll take the cap off, this is the cap. Take my nozzle off. And then on the inside of my nozzle, I got my spray needle. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it don't. This in here is not coming out. So I'm gonna let it be. Alright. Take this part out. Then we're gonna take out our anvil. Our anvil comes out. And then take the anvil out. You got your spring. Then you grab your grab your hook. Take your O-ring off. What you want to respect this? To any worn parts. All it is is all worn from uh, people using the device. So, and theoretically, I would replace this. This is the body. Like I said, this is the cap. This is the pedal. And then you got the spray needle inside of the pedal. You got your spring. You got your anvil. Inspect it, like I said, make sure it's everything is uh, good to go. There's no damage to it. No gaps. 
gouges, and that everything is in working order. Putting the bag together, you do the exact opposite. Take a spray. On the inside of here, there's another metal washer in there. Make sure that washer's in place, then you put your spring in. Once you get your spring in, take your anvil. There's a bevel edge on the anvil. This side is bevel, and this side is flat. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera or not. But when you do it, you're gonna paste the flat end into the spring, and your bevel end fits into here. All right, so when you do that, make sure you gotta line up the holes. You got this hole and then these two. When they coincide, these two holes are lined up with the pins, and then this here is where your fuel comes through. So you line them up, like so, place it back on. Now, with your cap, you take your panel, and your needle, make sure your needle is all the way in and seated. If it's not seated, it won't work. So make sure your needle is seated. Then you take your panel. And again, you got two nipples right here that coincide with these two holes right here. Then you got your fuel, your fuel line, your fuel hole, and you got another right here is where the fuel travels through. You line them up like so. And place them in there. See how I seat it down? Take your cap and reinstall your cap. All right, I reinstalled my cap. I'm going to go over there to that vise. And I'm going to lock it down. I reinstalled my O-ring. I'm going to go back over there to this vise so I can lock this cap down. Now with the vise, I don't lock it down so tight the way it'll mar the metal. It is locked down enough to for it to hold it. Alright. Take it out. Alright, so when you reinstall it, you got your fuel line, your fuel dick. It installs right here. Just like so. This one being the way it is, it is where you screw it down there right up in here. However, when you install it, it installs inside of the no nozzle just like that. Right up under the nozzle. Right in the nozzle right here, this is a, a guide. It's supposed to be sticking out, but it's not. Uh, it's damaged. So, like I said, I would replace the body. I would replace this whole nozzle. Uh, but this guy, this guy that sticks out. So when you're replacing it and you're putting it back in the engine, you gotta make sure this guy falls into the slot that's built inside of the engine. If you can move the camera up there, I can show you a little bit better. Come on up here. You gotta pull it down in here so they can see. All right, so inside of here, Right here, that's where that's where this will sit at. It will sit right here. All right, so when you put it in, gotta make sure you line it up. Actually, I'm gonna show you something else right quick. Let me get that. With your fuel dick, your fuel dick gonna stick out, and your fuel dick needs to be taken all the way out before you pull it out, and before you put the nozzle, before you pull the nozzle out, and before you put the nozzle back in. Your fuel dick needs to be all the way out, due to the fact that it's, it it it, it uh, protrudes out of the hole to fit in here. So, like I said, when you're putting it back in now, you gotta make sure that. It's level. 
and that you got it in, it falls in the right spot. Now you heard that click? That click lets me know that it's fully seated in. And from this point on, I'm good to reinstall my fuel dick and the cap to hold it down. So at this moment, I'm gonna grab my cap, put my cap back on, and I'm gonna start it by hand to make sure it's in there the right way. Make sure I'm not cross thread. I started it by hand. Take my socket and finish it off. Now, if you can come back on this side. You see where my fuel dick, it goes in. Once I get it in there. Get everything installed like it should be. Thread it back in, tighten it down. I'm just gonna hand tighten everything for now. Now I get the cap on them. My hand tighten on the cap. Hand tighten both of them, I mean, uh, tighten both of those down the specs. I got my valve cover. And my bolts from my valve cover. And I replace my valve cover. Place it. Put my bolts in, lock them down. How you uh, remove, inspect, rebuild, and reinstall a nozzle. Y'all have a good day.